Do it. I'm going Yo. for it. Oh! <laughs> Yo, that's like eating the entire clam chowder bowl. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god. god. She's trying to, she's trying to pep talk. Can I stop you about putting your drink? Yeah, I can eat coconut. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Touch the yeah. Where is the country of Sri Lanka? Is it the teardrop of India? What's it known for? And why does the food, especially Kotu, look so good? We took a trek out to the borough of Staten Island to one of the only Sri Lankan neighborhoods in America to find out. Welcome everybody to a special Sri Lankan episode of Fun Grows Food. We have ventured all the way out to Staten Island and we are nearby little Sri Lanka. Maybe the only Sri Lankan enclave on the entire East Coast. And of course, joining us today, we've got Sri Lankan comedian friend Chinook. I'm Sri Lankan, I am Sinhalese. And of course, we got Mr. Never Eat Anything, <laughs> Vivek with us. Let's go. Vivek is here to just be the Indian fact checker. Pretty much, yeah, Okay. pretty much. All right. Really excited to do this video because we're gonna be having authentic Sri Lankan food. We're gonna be going to some grocery stores. We're gonna be checking out the community and talking about how cool Sri Lanka is and how they're not Indians. Chinook, what's something that we can learn in Sri Lanka to like kick this journey off. Mama Dang Badagini. Our first spot is La Cruana. It is a Sri Lanka buffet. Let's go. Mama Dang Badagini, that means what? I'm hungry? I'm hungry. I'm, I'm hungry. hungry. Well, I am hungry. hungry. Listen, it took like 90 minutes to get to Staten Island. <laughs> All right, Chinook, where are we at right now? Because it looks like we have taken a portal to Sri Lanka. <laughs> you are literally in Sri Lanka right now. And, and your guys' goal is to sort of, as some of the few Sri Lankans representing in America, to provide like a very authentic like representation, right? Because especially like my dad, if you see the decor, he spent more money on the decor than him earning it back. He has so much love for his country and they've been here for 35 years. Wow. And I think they never, it feels like they never left home, but even though they live in New York. So as, as much as this is a restaurant, would you say it's also almost like a museum or, or like art exhibit? You can say that. We actually do have a museum down at the block. It's actually mine. <laughs> so you guys are repping Sri Lanka like as hard as MIA. <laughs> Chinook, what are we looking at, man? I mean, I'm these are this. like traditional, like you go to a party, there's gonna be like a hundred of each of these just sitting around. <laughs> like you'll eat one and then 10 more will come out of nowhere. Like it's like just like a little piece of like dough wrapped and then breaded and then fried. Rolls. Rolls. All right, All right I'm, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get the sauce. I like this little spoon here too. What's up with the... Uh, Pull up in the tanka kala Willy Wonka. <laughs> what a bad bitch that came from Sri Lanka. That's the fucking best verse. I felt You were like, I'm that bad bitch from Sri Lanka. I love you. <laughs> that is who I am. It's like curry. There's different types of things that you can see in there. Almost like a less processed sausage. I'm gonna try the vegetable one. We just had the rolls. We're moving on to the Sri Lankan drinks. What, what are we looking at? Mango juice. Mango lassi. Passion fruit. All right, cheers, guys. Cheers. cheers. Hold on, Chinook. You said at the beginning of the video, you guys are not Indian, but... But you are! Oh, you are. Obviously, there's a lot of shared culture. Right. Mango right. Lassi, it, it does a come of, from a India. A lot of culture copied from. Sure. <laughs> Chinook, yeah. you, got, you got to describe the chip on the shoulder of Sri Lankans. Yeah. Right, they're and looking like, at you, and they're expecting yeah, yeah, yeah. Bollywood dances, and you're like, dude, and like, that's like 5,000 miles away. <laughs> Word. And it's always like, oh, you're talking like, oh, what part of India is that from? It's yeah. like, nah, 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 <laughs> it's its own country, actually. Oh, well, hey, right. you know what? Hopefully, after this video today, Let's do it. people might have a better idea. Right. I mean, if you were growing up in Sri Lanka, mm -hmm. consuming media, is mm -hmm. most of the media gonna be Bollywood stuff Ooh. dubbed in, like, Sinhalese? Like, my parents watch Bollywood films undubbed. We just watch it straight in Hindi and, like... But with like, subtitles, right? No. But, like, not just, English subtitles? Just no other oh. subtitles. But then, how do you guys even understand what's going on? Yeah, dude, we were there for the music and the dancing, bro. That's it, that's fine. All right, next up, we got to Go to Maroti. Go to Maroti, yeah. All right, man. This looks super unique. Oh, this looks like fresh roti right here, too. Yeah. Real oh, stretchy. Dude, ooh. Boom! Roti okay, on the give plate. Me plate. Give me your plate. Yeah, but you guys, this is a bony fish. I've been warned to not bite into this. I might yeah. just up, right? go, go to Maroti. Maroti with kingfish. No, oh, I love that curry. Oh, my goodness. The fish is dense. Yo, that was actually really good. The roti here is so perfect. It's really stretchy, really thin. This is super hot. <laughs> oh. Give that a five out of five, bro. Mm -hmm. Rarely do I have fish curry, and when I do, I think there's a high miss rate in America. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like, even when you people attempt to do it, it doesn't turn out well. That's really good. Yeah, no, this is like the most different thing that I've seen since coming here. Right, but like you don't yeah. recognize this at all. I have like no direct comparison, yeah. Oh, oh, was, uh, <laughs> that's what I would say, you know. <laughs> Hoppers with lamb curry. Yo, that rice flour, it's really like kind of just disintegrates in your mouth. It just mm. breaks down. It's really, really soft. Really good and just a really experiential way to eat something, I think. Yo, the curry with the crack yolk in it is fire. Do it. I'm going Yo, for it. Do it. 
Oh! <laughs> Yo, that's like eating the entire clam chowder burger. <laughs> like oh burger. my god. The egg in it makes it so... Yo, this is a five out of five for me. If you guys have had any exposure to Sri Lankan food, it's probably the kochu roti, right? Yep. Like this is like the, like we said, like the hamburger of Hamburg, Germany. <laughs> yeah, is it, it is. weird to you as a Desi person to see another Desi country just eat pork free? Yeah, it is. Well, beef would be even greater, but like right. pork is like not really a big thing in India at all. Kochu roti. I mean, is uh, I'll tell you this, you'll live a lot longer if you don't drink, smoke, or even live in a Western sure. society too, so. Mm. No, but that shit is fun. Yeah. Wow. Is. That's on another level from the ones that I've had. Dude, I've had mm -hmm. some Koto Roti before at like some street stalls and like small businesses, but. The street ones hit in their own way though. They wow. do, the street ones are I'm so no. no. Oh my god! Yeah, you wasn't shit. playing around. She would choke it on the smoke. Yeah. <laughs> like, it was, like it was some straight this is Zaza. Devil, Devil shrimp. shrimp. Got to blow on it, guys. Oh, wow. Woo. I, I know why they call it the double shrimp, but that was really, really good. I like the spice. Um, here, it wasn't too spicy, but it's just enough to give you that kick, and it was kind of sweet. Overall, Andrew, what do you think, man? I, I don't know you have some of the peppers. What, what, what do you feel about the spice, man? The spice level is pretty good. It's not as spicy as my mom makes it. Okay. But that's still really good. That is one of the hottest sizzling plates I personally have been around. You guys gotta come here and try the devil shrimp. All right, you guys, wrapping up our savory dishes uh, here at La Cruana prior to dessert. We got a lot of dishes and some of these look really familiar. Yeah, man, I mean, this is lamp rice. The banana leaf is like traditional Sri Lankan food. Basically have a rice on the bottom of that with a curry and then all this is just the seasoning on top like that. That's really good. Wow. Mm -hmm. All right, honestly, is this better mm -hmm. than the one your mom was making? Mm -hmm. There's one fire. This is, so this is really good. Yeah, it's not that spicy of a dish. Now, in Sri Lanka, would this dish maybe be a little spicier? Oh, it'd be fire. In your okay. Mouth. Five out of five here. Five out of five for the lamp rice. You got the biryani. Okay. Which is actually, honestly, Indian influence. Like, it's very. Right. But very it's got its own look to it. This is a string no, hopper Andrew, Andrew, That's the my fun kotu. Yeah. <laughs> that's the, that's what no, it looks like noodles. It looks like yeah. noodles, but it's a string hopper kotu. This is the hatamalu. Uh, it's like a vegetarian curry with like dal and a bunch of like veggies in it. So you're eating this a lot nowadays. Oh, big time. Whoa! Mm -hmm. Way more like pineapples and tropical. Sweet, yeah. This might be the original version of the Hong Kong cafe dish, the Singaporean style stir fried rice noodles. It's super spicy actually, it's really good. Of all the dishes we had, and we still got more to go, which one was your favorite? I Do feel like for you, you gotta say it was the lump rice. It's the lump rice, dude. Except, you said it was better than your mom. This was my mom. Sorry, mom. I apologize. <laughs> I'm gonna go with the goto maroti. For me, um, like a perfect breakfast, because it was actually like lighter than you would think. Yeah. I gotta go with the devil shrimp. Ooh. That sizzling, hot, devilish plate that almost killed us. Vatalapan. This is the top one, huh? Oh. Yeah, this is the, this is the stuff. How many times you had this in your life? Thousands, maybe? Wow, I really taste those uh, the spices. Oh my gosh, look at this honey and yogurt. Oh. <laughs> that was good. I'm I gotta wow. say that that was my favorite. I loved all the desserts though. I actually really like that mango mousse. All right, Chinook, where did we land? We landed in Little Sri Lanka. We're in the corner of Victory and Zebra on Staten Island. It's Little Sri Lanka. It is little, but we got a lot of stuff in this one look, spot. Baby Sri Lanka. Okay. Baby Sri Lanka. All right, what are we looking at? I gotta see Sri Lankan restaurant and I see Ceylon curry. Over oh, this this place, my mom will always come here to get some quick Sri Lankan bites for us. Like she wants some like uh, string hoppers done quickly. So come here, grab some, bring it back home. We got a quick dinner. Okay, I see de Blasio. I and see Anthony Bourdain, Bourdain yeah. on the wall. All right, we got two restaurants. We're gonna hit them up quick. We're gonna order a couple things from each spot. Let's do it. This is the, the Harold and Kumar pairing. <laughs> is this the best Sri Lankan food? So, yes, I'm the best. I'm the one. So okay. you had to tell me. Are you, are you very confident because Anthony Bourdain ate here? <laughs> if it was good enough for Bourdain, it's good enough for us, all right? Welcome. This is Asha restaurant. Please, Bongo, Saprungo. All right, so we have our Sri Lankan kind of lunch food. Yeah, it's got the roll with the egg in it. That's that's. So that's the real stuff. egg roll because there's an egg it's inside of it. Real egg roll. Lunch is rice, some dal, some onion, sambal, chicken. This is coconut sambal. Oh! Wow! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm really excited. I had that at Dosa Man in Washington Square Park. Yeah, that yeah. was super good. Wow! Wow! It is. It's got a kick. It's yeah. a little spicier here. I yeah. feel like. 
I really like this mixed plate because it's actually not that heavy. It's not too creamy. Um, it is it is still pretty spicy, but it's actually pretty Yo, light. For me, I'm gonna go ahead and give this a five out of five. This was good. Hitting on a whole nother level. <laughs> she's trying to, she's trying to pep talk. Can I stop you about putting in uh, yeah, I can eat coconut. Yeah, yeah. Touch the Yeah. It's some. This is the street food from some street guys. Okay. We got a, a fish roll. We got an onion roll. He said there's an egg roll. The main thing that I think we're looking for out of all this is right here. Shinu, can you break down this coconut uh, roti? You got a coconut roti? Yeah. So this is like basically a staple of Sri Lanka. You have some breakfast, lunch, dinner. It's really easy to make. My mom makes it all the time on Sundays. Coconut, coconut roti. roti. This is actually really soft and good. Like usually it's kind of like a bit harder. I like this one a lot. Like these are what my mom calls malupang. Usually called fish buns. So one has fish, one has uh, spicy onions in it. Malupang. Wow, right. fish curry bun. I've never had one in my life. It's good. Guys, these two spots that we went to, Ceylon Curry and New Asha Restaurant, guys, definitely check them out. If you ever come to Staten Island, Little Sri Lanka, flavors I've never had before. All right, you guys, we've arrived at the Sri Lankan grocery. And uh, one thing that I want to point out is how cool the Sinhalese language looks. Yeah, these are all like sounds, so it's all phonetic, right? So it's not like A, B, C. These are just like sounds of like words you would say. Let's head into the grocery. Let's do it. Right. Hey, you know what I noticed? Uh, and I saw this in a video. Um, sometimes when Sri Lankan people, they're saying yes, they actually say they go side to side oh, for yeah, yeah, yeah. So this, it could be <laughs> yes, but in yeah. the US, we might think it's no. <laughs> Next city. All right, you guys, we are pretty much near the end of our Sri Lankan food crawl through Little Sri Lanka and Staten Island. Uh, we got some Sri Lankan snacks from the store. What is this? Lemon puff, elephant house, popsicle. What's this? It's a whole toffee. What do you think it is like about that makes Sri Lanka so interesting? You were talking about how the Portuguese, the Dutch, the British, um, there's some other ethnicities there, some Chinese live in Sri Lanka. Yeah, I mean, like, Sri Lanka has a lot of different cultures that, like, have influenced it. It is its own kind of, like, I think Sri really wants to be its own thing, like, its own people, its own identities, uh, and, like, all that has come together to make a Sri Lankan diaspora. As we move into this time in America where everybody wants to be seen, everybody wants a representation, every type of uh, okay. gender, ethnicity, okay. community, okay. identity, okay. right? Yeah. Like, are you with that, like, yo, I, I think we've got to be as nuanced as possible, or is there some sense you're like, I, I just want to make it simple for people? It would be a disservice to, like, my, like my parents and what they work for, and, like, like, to, like, what they believe in me, to be, to, like, like oh, it's all cool, like, whatever it is, it is. Like, the nuance is what allows you to, like, find the beauty in culture, right? Like, as first-gen immigrants, yeah. we have, like, the privilege of having nuance. We're like, our parents weren't allowed to have that because they just had to, like, figure out, I'm in a foreign land, like, how do but, I survive? But I think it depends. I think that if the more assimilated second-gens, they almost start to view it just like the dominant narrative, which is painting the groups with broad, bro yeah. with broad brushes. And that's, like, what we're doing in this video right now. We're trying to, like, show that everybody's an individual but also show that it doesn't have to be like in a contentious yeah. way right. <laughs> yo i gotta say real quick these sesame balls are rock hard yeah these are like i can't hey, even buy the two chinese guys end up eating i like the flavor though <laughs> wait, 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 do you hear this oh, <laughs> you cannot, you cannot try, i mean what are you trying to do with your art or what do you even want people to know yeah because at some point if, if we are trying to um fill people's minds with these new identities and all these nuances, sometimes we have to boil it down. And sometimes we have to or even simplify, simplify right? sometimes we have to simplify the message and the mission and everybody can have one, but what what is like the message and mission here? That as you would say as a Sri Lankan American. Yeah, I mean, I think in my own art, I try my best to like be unapologetically, so like La Ruana, like that setup, that style is what I want my art to be. It's also like the beauty of that culture, like what that culture is like, the love that I get from like my family, my friends, all the people that are in my life that are Sri Lankan. I think a lot of people know that Sri Lankans are like a warm, welcoming group of people. We like, if you come into our house, we will take care of you. You're gonna eat well, you're gonna drink, you're gonna like, you don't need anything when you come to our home. Make any last words? Uh, I do what have you a last about Sri Lanka because I know you you knew about it, but yes. you hadn't really been out. No, I, Indian, I expected it to be way more similar, oh, yeah. to be honest, which was like again like pretty pretty shitty of me to do. <laughs> but like, uh, I think the biggest thing is also just learning like how like the the hospitality of it. I think is a lot was like super cool to see. Yeah, you can follow me at Indian Maisel on uh, Instagram or at Vinetrakanti at on TikTok. Yeah, you can follow my work on at Chinook, just my regular name, S H E N U Q E on Instagram. Or check out my website. Yo, Chinook, what's your last name? Tessera. 
Oh, it's a Sarah. Is that a, is that a, is that a foreign last name or is that a, a Portuguese last name? All right, everybody. Thank you so much for watching that Sri Lankan episode in Staten Island. Yo, shout out to Chanuk, Vivek. You guys showed us around. We got to dive into the culture. In the comments down below, let me know, one, what you guys know about Sri Lankan food or culture, and two, let us know another ethnic enclave around the New York, New Jersey-ish area that you guys would want us to check out because uh, taking these trips out, you know, it does take time, but it's usually worth it. All right, everybody, thanks for watching, and until next time, we out. Peace. Peace.